Hi guys, it's me, Miss Manifesta, helping you open a spiritual doorway to the abundance that you deserve. On the channel today, I'm going to be talking to you about Hero and the Power by Rhonda Byrne, same author of The Secret and the Magic, the magic I've already talked about on this channel. You guys are always asking me for book reviews and things on my lives, and I've just read them back to back, so I wanted to share with you what they are all about. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get updates from me every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday when I upload or go live. You can also visit the link in the description below to subscribe to my email list and get access to my Law of Attraction library of free resources. Let's get started. <laughs> So if you've watched my channel before and you've read The Magic or you've watched my review of The Magic, you'll know that The Magic is all about the ingredient of gratitude in your manifestations. And that book is very much a 28 day journey. So it's something that you pick up every day and you're harnessing the power of gratitude every day. The Power and Hero are not like that. They're not journey books. They are just kind of books that you read and you get inspiration from. So I'm gonna start with The Power. And similarly to The Magic, Rhonda is talking about the power being the power of love and harnessing the power of love in your life, in your manifestations, in what you're creating by understanding that what you give out is what you get back. So it's not about all take, take, take and that kind of energy. It's about putting out love into the universe, whether that's in your finances, your business, your relationships, your health, putting love out there and that is what you're going to attract back. It's not about tricking the law of attraction going, yeah, you know, if I if I put love out or if I do this, somebody will do something nice back to me. It's about doing it just because it feels good, because it feels beautiful. And we're all love. You know, we are all love. We are all connected to source energy. And love is the highest frequency of all the vibrations. So when you are on the vibration of love, that's what you're attracting back to you in many, many forms. So I feel The Power is a great reminder book, a great refresher of what energy are you putting out into the world? Are you putting loving energy out into your money, your relationships, for example? Are you speaking kindly to your body? Are you appreciating other things in other people? So when you see somebody else getting what you want, are you happy for them? Are you filled with love because you're like, you know what, I love them so much and I really believe that they deserve that. You don't feel jealous. Are you telling yourself stories about money of money is hard to come by, money causes nothing but problems, or all women are hard work, or all guys are the same? You know, those kind of beliefs are not loving. So I think the book is a great booster to remind you of what energy are you putting out about the things you want? Is it loving energy? Is it appreciative energy? Because that's what you're gonna get back. Or are you putting out an energy of fear and an energy of lack or resentment? Because ultimately, if you're putting that energy out, that's what you're going to attract back. So moving on to Hero, Hero is kind of not really what I expected. Uh, I bought them as a bundle, so I didn't read, you know, like a synopsis or anything or description on Amazon about what it was all about. And this book is all about a hero's journey. So not a journey like the magic where you're going on, you know, day one, day two, but it is very much about going from rock bottom and creating huge shifts in your life and going from that like zero to hero the journey and the mentality and, and what it takes to kind of persevere through adversity. And that's what I like about it. It's lots and lots of stories of journeys of people who have really, really overcome extreme adversity and gone on to lead extraordinary lives. And I think that's really encouraging that no matter what your outer circumstances are, we always have the power to choose, to change, to overcome, to grow. It makes me think of that quote, like the night is always darkest before the dawn. Amazing things are always around the corner if you expect them. Whereas if you just keep expecting lack and struggle, obviously that's what you keep attracting back to you. It's got lots of inspiring stories in it. The power does as well, but this is very much inspiration through the journey of others. People like Paul Mitchell hair care, you know, was sleeping in his car. And there's a girl that she was homeless, her mum died. She was still going to school, she had no food. 
you're sleeping in stairways and then she went on to Harvard and now she's like one of the most successful you know speakers in the world Anastasia from Anastasia Beverly Hills like if you're a girl or a guy that likes makeup you'll know that brand so that was really inspiring to me because I use her products every single day also the creator of Moshi Monsters if you've got kids you'll know what Moshi Monsters are but it's very much like all these people overcame adversity and they went on and they you know created amazing lives and you can too so I feel like that book is amazing if you're somebody particularly who's got a business or you're an entrepreneur or you're trying to create an impact in the world if you're kind of feeling like oh I'm struggling I'm getting to a rock bottom or I just want to throw the towel in that book will give you a real kick up the bum to go you know what I can do this if these people can do this I can do this too. It's about mindset, about belief, your faith, um, and also action. The book does talk about action, going after your dreams and goals and putting in the necessary action to get those. Obviously in Law of Attraction, we have action and surrender. I feel the book is more on the action side of the spectrum and definitely going after what you want. One thing that I love about Rhonda's books is how she uses quotes from people from all walks of life, industry, faith you know you're going from Jesus to Buddha to Jim Carrey to Albert Einstein uh, to other like new thought leaders you know saints it's really really big broad spectrum of people that she quotes but what I love about it is the reminder that law of attraction is applicable it's happening for us all now because it's a universal law and it can be understood and harnessed by absolutely anybody and that's what I love about it it makes it universal for everyone because a lot of people kind of go all oh, science and religion and stuff it doesn't it doesn't mix and it absolutely does and that's what I love like just seeing all those quotes out there remind us that this is happening for all of us now and we can all create our realities I hope you've enjoyed this video and it gives you some inspiration about which book you might want to choose and perhaps you want to choose both and I will see you soon for another Law of Attraction video. Take care, bye!